All right. Hi again, everybody. Uh, we're joined now by the representatives from Omaha. Um, we'll start with no place coach, if you would mind. Yeah, obviously a devastating loss. Uh, just feel for our players. You know, we're not in the business for moral victories, you know, so we wanted to win that game. And uh, it's a tough, tough pill to swallow when you lose. So right now it hurts. And uh, but again, when you reflect on the season and reflect on the individuals that are on this team, it's a real special group and and uh, really grateful for my time with them. They're a pleasure to coach and it's a special team this year. There's no question. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate that. Uh, now we'll open the floor for questions for our student athletes who are with us. And please uh, raise your hand to request the microphone, state your name and your affiliation before asking any questions. I'm Mike Patterson, Omaha World Herald. Uh, just for Matt or Nolan, just uh, kind of talk about what this team accomplished this season. Yeah, it was uh, it was something incredible um, from the top down. Uh, the best part, best team I've ever been on. Um, it's the belief we have in one another, the how guys play for one another. Um, something to really be proud of, and I think that's why it's so emotional now that uh, just all the work that we put into it and everything that everybody gave was for each other, and that's the, the most special part of the group that we got here. I guess I can add to that. Um, yeah, kind of to add to Millsy here. We I've never been on a team that's more committed each each and every day, day in, day out. Um, I've never had a bad day at the rink with this group. Um, just, uh, I mean, the growth we've seen all year is, I mean, something I guess we can be proud of looking back, but yeah, I mean, the relationships here are everything, so. Guys, if you can, just um, talk about the ebbs and flows of the game tonight. But... Yeah, it was a back and forth game, really fast pace out there. Um, we had a game plan, and I thought we stuck to it pretty well. Um, could have played a little bit better, but uh, yeah, that's that's how hockey goes. The bounces sometimes go your way, sometimes don't, but you just got to put yourself in the best positions to capitalize on your chances, and uh, I think we had plenty of chances. So it was such a back and forth game. It was anybody's game, and uh, I just loved the mindset of our guys uh, right till the very end. We were motivated and determined, and we had one goal in mind. Uh, fell a little short, but I love the determination and the culture of the group that, that we have here. Yeah, I mean, uh, coming into this game, we knew we need to start start fast, and I thought we did that. I mean, I thought our first period was really good. Um, I mean, they're a good team over there, so the game goes both ways. I thought we stuck to our game plan for most of the game, but like Millsy said, it's just the ebbs and flows sometimes how the game goes. Brent Weber with scorecardscribblings.com. Might have been more Minnesota fans. Couldn't tell that from the game. Guys, your sense of fans that you have and how they follow you, you got to hear them. Yeah, our, our fans have been fantastic this year. It's it's been noticeable from when I came into a freshman to now. The the fan support that we have is unbelievable. Um, like you said, bus loads of people here. We had a an awesome uh, entrance uh, into the game today. Um, they've been awesome traveling to see us. Uh, lots of parents have been making the games. Um, we're just super thankful for that, and our fans have really been show, showing up for us. And uh, we couldn't be more proud to to have a great year for them. So yeah, thank you to all of them. Yeah, I mean, we felt it the whole year with the fans. I mean, from like you said, from my freshman year to now, that change has been incredible. And that's, I mean, that's a credit to everyone, the fans, staff, coaches, us, just, I mean, the culture, it, it's ultimately everyone, that includes the fans. Matt, just talk about that last minute when the Mavs put so many shots on goal, just couldn't get it tied up. Yeah, we, we, we had a game plan and uh, thought, we, we, pl we played pretty well there in that last minute. We gave it everything we got. Um, obviously, fell a little short there, but, I mean, we had lots of shots. Uh, puck was crashing in the crease. Bodies were flying. So uh, we put it all on the line there. We, we know the season's on the line, but we, we, we gave it everything we had, and uh, that final push was was everything that we had, and that's that's we're brothers, so we play for each other, and when it's that final minute, we'll do anything that it takes. So fell a little short, but that's that's everything that we had. <clears throat> Thank you, gentlemen, for 
Yeah. Um, Sean Davis with USHO. Coach, just um, a little bit of a reflection on the end of the year. You guys had a great run to get to the tournament in the first place. What can you say about that group of guys in your locker room? Yeah, very impressive group of individuals. To, to do what we did is hard. To do what we did is very, very hard, and it takes a lot of commitment day in and day out for a long time over and over again, and it's not easy to do. And uh, so when you get to accomplish something like that, you got to make sure you reflect on it. And, and again, it's an impressive team, and uh, you know they deserve a ton of credit for just how much work they put in all season long to get to the point where they are today. Isaac Nielsen with the Gateway. Coach, you held the lead or played to a tie for 56 minutes of this one. Uh, how were you able to hang with such a high-powered team and really take control for much of the game? Yeah, again, we had a big-time game plan coming into it and wanted to play a certain way, and uh, just a couple unfortunate plays really dictated the, the overall outcome of the game. But overall, like these guys said, just really executed the game plan and you know they you know obviously studying how they generate offense and what they want to do out there you want to do the opposite for them there and give the guys a lot of credit it's not an easy way to play and and they did just that it was just unfortunate uh, chain of events there just in the final stretch there Mike Patterson Omaha World Herald coach uh, what happened on those last two goals that Minnesota scored yeah, just I think the the second one there was a just a turnover behind the net there where they kind of capitalized on the slot play and then obviously the the last one there just an unfortunate event, just a guy falls down with nobody around him and lost an edge and and uh, obviously we're going north because we think we have full possession so it results in a quick three on one and and they made a nice play to to get the game winner there so not how you want to lose a game that's for sure that's a tough pill to swallow but that's hockey sometimes and and those are how things go. Coach, just uh, talk about the progress, maybe since the last time you saw Minnesota in the tournament to tonight. Totally different feeling, you know. Just again, even just going through the season we went through this year with the uh, CC series and then the Nodak and the Denver, just had a different feeling coming here. You know, it's a big stage, but I felt like we were battle tested a little bit, ready for it. So definitely, some calmness in the group, which was really impressive to see and. Again, when you when you get to know our guys, we did a really cool thing with our sports psychologist before we came out where guys were kind of talking a little bit about their fears and and how social media affects you and, and the naysayers and just things like that. And, and it's real for our guys. And I thought there was a couple of really nice comments from our guys. Just, you know, one of the things they talked about was nobody sees how hard we work. Nobody sees just the effort we do day in and day out and how hard that is and how uncommon it is. And so when they start talking about just, you know, why are we listening to any of these guys? They don't know what we do day to day. That's a pretty special environment. You know, you're really progressing to something special. So, again, we try to pride ourselves on, on doing things the right way for as long and harder than other people are willing to do. Uh, sometimes you don't have the results, but you have to be proud of the group. Thank you very much. Okay, so thanks. Two fifteen, followed three thirty by Minnesota. Thank you.